It always seems impossible until it's done. I am truly honored to welcome my next guest on her story, which is the wonderful, talented artist, Sophia Bahlani. <laughs> welcome to her story. Thank you. It's an honor. So, Sophia, um, we all know you as the artist. And actually, before we started recording, we had this conversation that we're more than just one thing. Exactly. So, what more are you than just the artist? How would you like to introduce yourself? Are you just an artist or are you more than that? I think I'm a magnet to challenges. I love that. <laughs> um, there's always challenge every single day and it seems like I'm drawn to it. And so I like to think um, I'm this person who seems to conquer every day with mm -hmm. one challenge or another. And with that, um, I like to set an example for others. How can they overcome these challenges? Um, I think it's very important. I think it is very important in this day and age to find somebody brave enough to talk about their challenges, which is one of the reasons for her story. And looking at you, Sophia, yes, you have your challenges probably in your creative side in your life that you had to establish who you are as an artist, but also looking at you, you have physical challenges. So I don't know what your condition is called, and if you could just tell me a little bit about it, if you don't mind. Okay, so I, the medical term is focomelia, mm -hmm. um, but what you don't know is, I mean, I have uh, short arms, I wear prosthesis on my right leg, I have a deformed knee on my left, I have a short tongue tied, and I don't hear in my right ear, mm -hmm. but I also have learning disabilities where I cannot memorize everything and I work through pictures and this is honestly one of the reasons I, w I channel through art. Um, you know, something simple as praying. I can't, I can't pray so I use flashcards mm. uh, for the five times a day prayers and stuff. So you say that you use flashcards but you know what I think? <clears throat> I think God is trying to tell you that Sophia this is your, this is where you're going to shine, this is where you're going to find yourself, this is where you're going to go. <clears throat> This is where you're going to grow and this is where you're going to thrive. And I truly believe that's your calling, if I'm to say. Along with these challenges, I'm sure you have had other challenges. And one of the reasons that you inspire me is because, one, you try, not you try, you, when we go out together, I have this tendency to want to help you. Mm. But you're so... Um, quick. <laughs> you're so quick, you're so independent. And I honestly, if I, people who are looking at us, they would see there's a difference between you and I in that I'm like, I have all my limbs and you don't. But in reality, we're just truly the same because yeah. I don't need to help you with anything. And that's something that you inspire me by to see that even though you are different, we're still one of the same. And I truly um, respect you and love that about you. And another way you're inspiring me is that you are out there sharing your challenges. And I'd like to talk about... Um, what maybe not many people know is that you're adopted. Yep. And you're adopted by this lovely lady, um, Ms. Sabah Al Bahlani. So please tell us a bit about that adoption as well, or that process. So the first three years of my life, I lived in a hospital. And due to my um, disability and stuff, I couldn't live in an orphanage. So I lived in the hospital. And uh, at that time, um, my mother was um, volunteering in the Amani Women Association. And I used to, it was more like a, I want to say a daycare for us mm -hmm. children. And we used to go there, I think several times a week. And, you know, she met me and she, she was, she, she wanted to know further about my life. And she was kind of frustrated that, you know, nothing was being done. And so she was like, I will adopt her. Mm. And according to her, um, on the day that she adopted me, I was so worried that she was uh, going to leave me because, I mean, she has taken me a couple of times during eight to meet her family. And that was like kind of the introduction. And so I thought, oh, I'm going to go back into the crib. I'm not going to, you know, go out again. And even like I remember uh, a small incident the first time I left the hospital. I used to keep telling her to turn off the light, meaning the sun, 
because it was just so right. Yeah. yeah <laughs> so I, according to her, I stuck to her like super glue. I mean, even she couldn't even sign the papers properly because, because yeah, I was just to. worried. Yeah. Um, but uh, the family, I mean, very welcoming. Um, I, never treated me as someone different. So I, I don't consider myself adopted. But then when I want to be mean, uh, I took this phrase from someone else who was adopted uh, at the age of 13. And um, I used to get bullied a lot sometimes uh, because of being adopted. And um, I used to tell them, well, listen, you are born into a family without a choice. Mm -hmm. I was chosen into a family, and there's a difference. Yes, yeah. it is. Well, that re really hits somebody, huh, Sphere? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but, you know, it's it's one of those things that people, again, don't talk about. Yeah. I've rarely come across someone said, yeah, I'm adopted, and, you know, it's one of those things, again, something that we were talking about earlier. I believe that our challenges are is what inspires others. So you have, as you said, you have, you're a magnet to challenges. You have a lot going for you, but in each challenge i believe you grow and i believe you inspire a different segment of people so you have your physical challenges you have that you know that you were adopted and then you have your creative side so you are different to any guest that i've met because you have a challenge in every not every step just being sophia not to say it's in a bad way that it's a challenge because yes. you have a lot going on for you but also that makes you in my eyes very special so when it comes to creative art and now you've on you, you own your own studio people know you i've seen your paintings how has that what was the inspiration who inspires you in that sense to to create such beautiful pieces and what what is it about where do you get it all from um i'd say Amon. you know mm. uh Amon is rich with with heritage and culture and it's not just about um the shapes and patterns, but I find Amman has also gone through a lot of challenges. Um, and I kind of feel like that's my twin and I can yes. relate to it. Um, and somehow I get inspired a lot and that's how a lot of my work is related to. You tend to showcase a lot of different things of Amman. I know you've done Amani costumes. Have you done landscapes as well or are you I only have. focusing? No, I have. So are you touching on each aspect of Amman? Yes. Which has been your favorite so far? Traditional uh, clothing. Uh, because for me, you know, I always tell people we we like something because of how, how it looks, but we never think of the person who actually sat there and made it. Mm. And I think there's always a story behind the person with his hands making it. And I, and I like to touch that aspect. And as, as well, what I've seen is you try and do different forms of art. Yeah. So you do art where there's a bit of 3D, you actually add some material yes. to it. And then I've also seen that you've done some digital. So you always artsy. Yeah. <laughs> and I've, I've been criticized a couple of times. They're like, where's your signature? I'm like, I don't have one yet. And I'm not going to have it's one. It's in working progress. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I, I think it, it's, it's very uh, healthy to always touch something new and challenge yourself. Because I think once you, you focus and stick to one thing, I'm worried. I'm worried it will wear me out. And after. it can get boring. Yes. Because I feel you can only create a certain thing so many times yeah and then you just have to try something different but again i want to go back to maybe one of the challenges is was there anything that ever tried to stop you from being sophia the artist did you have any roadblocks any like no sophia you can't do that why do you think you're gonna be known or can you actually do that you know either someone challenging you mentally or because of your physical ability um there is a point in time where, you know, a couple of people have mentioned like, oh, Sophia, people are just giving you uh, attention or sh throwing light on you because, you know, of your physical disability and your drawing art, but your art isn't that great. So, let you know, try. let him or her try doing the same thing you do. I mean, they're artists as well, but uh, I was like, okay, until, you know, last year and the year before, I started being recognized locally 
um, and internationally, but like people didn't know. They knew the name, but they didn't know who I was, and they just picked up the you know picked up the phone and called me and said, "Sophia, uh, we like this," and we, and I started realizing, you know what, mm. I am good enough. But you had you needed the out what you need you needed someone to tell you you are good. I didn't need, but sometimes you doubt yourself. Like I always question, like, are people buying my work because it's me or because they really like it? And I think that goes with everyone. Yes, I think, but more so for you. One, we, I think this, whoever buys your art, loves your art, but also wants to tell you, Sophia, you're doing a good job. Continue because what you're doing is great. Yeah. You could choose because everyone has to realize that we each have a choice in how we lead our life. Irrelevant of our situation physically or mentally we always have a choice and that choice is not set in stone yeah so you choose to be an artist and what I'm trying to get at is you've had more challenges than any one of us have but you're still there you're still you're not fighting but challenging yourself to be better than you were yesterday yeah and we all have insecurities but at the end of the day you still made it and I think uh, uh my recent inspiration are kids that come to the, to the art mm -hmm. studio. Because I remember I started with two kids like three or four years ago. And to get them, it was always, Miss, I can't, I can't, I can't, I can't. I was like, listen, this word is forbidden. Like literally forbidden. You're going to try until you do it. And we're like, oh, Miss, you say it's so easy because you can do it. You're an artist. And I've worked with these kids, and obviously I had more kids over the time, and I mean, some of them are taller than me now, but um, I can't get them away from the artwork now. It's like, no, I need to fix this. I need to, they're taking initiative. And I, I also see sometimes they talk about their personal struggles and how, you know, learning how to, to, to keep trying until you get to Point B. Yeah, it, 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 I feel like I'm actually doing something. You feel you're making a difference. Yeah. Now you, have, you started through your art and now you're moving that love of art and you're sharing it with children. And believe me, Sophia, the impact you have on these children's lives, will, they will never forget this experience. So, I, and I recently saw that you posted another one. Yeah. Yeah, so <laughs> I'm, I'm hoping this time my children can it's join. Child, yeah. Uh, just before we end, uh, Sophia, what is, if you can inspire someone, uh, maybe somebody like you, somebody like me, what would you inspire them? What would be the words from Sophia? Accept who you are and embrace it because if you're too busy worrying or trying to be like every other person, you will never find what you're really good at because we're all unique. Mm. And challenges is something positive. Um, you cannot live life without challenges. It's just something you can't do because life would not be worth it then. But I feel that's what we are trying to do. We're always trying to avoid being challenged because Finding it's so difficult calls, yeah. because I can't. And here you're telling us you need to accept yourself for who you are accept your challenges and actually just go through them because I, this is one thing i like to say grow through what is it grow through what you grow through what you go through yes yeah so that yes. resonates with you thank you so much for your time thank you. it's been always it's always an honor spending time with you i'm always felt you know i feel like i'm inspired and i can do anything because <laughs> i've had this chat with Sophia. so thank you so sure. much for your time thank you thank you for having me thank you.